Hello, how are you guys? So, this is Dave, and I hope you guys will enjoy this one. This is the Amazing Spider Man issue number 13. Actually, it's too much late. It's one week later. I was thinking about making some exclusive review about this one, also Spider Verse uh, Times. This is the Amazing Spider Man 13, and about that one, also the Wolverine 3. Uh, but I failed to do that this time. But from next time, I will do my exclusive review like the Superior Iron Man issue number 4. And that gun pretty much quite well. 300 hits in one night. That is pretty cool shit. Here we go with the Amazing Spider-Man 13. This is review from Adventures in Protest, IGN, and Comic Vine as usual. So IGN review, I'm gonna read it from JC Shadeen. So this is this far into the story. It seems as though Dan Slot can slow down when it comes to setting up and referencing the various time titles. That's not to say there aren't a few annoying cases of invasive editor captions and plot threads that pop in or drop out as this series intersects with the tie-ins. One major death from an ancillary book is just referenced in a very matter-of-fact way when it, it probably deserved more attention. There's another scene involving the superior Spider-Man that also seems rushed even though it doesn't connect to any tie-in book but for the most part the script is more focused and streamlined than we have seen from recent chapter slot finds time for a number of his spider heroes to shine as they retreat to the relative safety of Earth 3145 that is 3145 Earth and work to come up with a battle strategy. There's more focus on Peter as a leader and Otto as his foil here, which is always good man good fun. We also seen that see an all female team up as Spider Gwen, Spider Woman, and Silk take the fight to the inheritors. Kane as also enjoys a really awesome moment that I am thankful wasn't really get it to the Scarlet Spider's book. And even the smaller characters get their due. Spider Man India and Spider UK share a very poignant moment as they reflect on the philosophical implications of being a Spider Man and if they are all just pale imitations of the real Peter Parker. So the humor is also dialed up a bit even as the story remains a very dark and bloody affair. But the comicvine.com is given this review by Corey and Deadpool. The good things there was a lot of speculation as to what last issues reveal would mean for the Spider-Verse, the general concept, not the event, and even Marvel Universe at large. And while those questions have yet to be answered and likely won't be until next issue, the development of the ruined Earth 3145 Spider Totem proceeded with Dan Slot's usual effective economy. In just three short pages, we'll learn the differences and the legion between this Spider Totem and the ones we are used to. Moreover, are made to care a surprising about amount about them. We even get some insight into how the world came to be the way it is and what this Totem fills his role in it was. But the real standout here is actually. Actually, the superior Spider-Man of 616 Auto is in rare form. Not only connecting to critical dots, but saving the day in one of the most unlikely ways for that character. It's great that even knowing his ultimate fate, Dan Slot isn't afraid to let him have the that spotlight when it's called for. That's merely the highlight in what turns out to be a great character driven issue with a ton of small powerful moments. I have often been a fan of Giuseppe Common called his pencil but he is in rare form in this issue giving us characters that look at times powerful, lead agile and intimidating all at just the right time. So I hope you guys will enjoy this issue and for those who didn't enjoy it till now just go to the store and buy this book this will help the creators and the developers also the publishers all everyone that artists that writers and it will be more enjoyable when you just have the hard copy of the comic book and you are reading that one so after that I shouldn't tell but here it is some bad things are there this issue is all over the place in terms of storytelling and it's understandable with all the various threads that need to come together that things might get a little breakneck but having Silk make as boneheaded a move as she does even without having all the information it felt like that 
it was needlessly upping the stakes. So for the few times I am I, just pro and cons from adventures in protest.com is pros well paid story or great dialogue and compelling conversation but cons are mostly a point a to point b issue spoils the scarlet spider the scarlet spiders issue 3 issue badly so hope you guys have enjoyed it and as i always told already i have told it that to support the creators just buy this book and okay let don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this show here it ends the amazing spider-man issue number 13 have a great day